Hi Kids Church, are you enjoying summer yet? Are you glad that you're not having to do school? I know I'm glad we're not doing all the school schedule, all of that that you have to do, but I'm also realizing like all we need, we all need, right? We all need rest. And really the rest that we get is really only the rest that God has prepared for us. At the very beginning of time when God created the world, on the seventh day, God rested. And that established a pattern of rest for us and the whole world. And in the law that was given in the Ten Commandments, one of those um, commandments is that to remember the Sabbath and rest on that day. So I know for me, I really try that one day a week, I'm really trying to rest and honor God in that time. Uh, scripture also tells us that we were not made for the Sabbath rest, but the Sabbath rest is a gift from God to us. In the book of Hebrews, it invites us, the beginning of Hebrews chapter 4, to enter into his rest, enter into the rest that he's prepared for us. So um, what does rest look like for you? Uh, rest can look like different things for different people. Rest doesn't mean you just sit and do nothing because is that kind of boring? I think so. Rest is doing things you enjoy. Rest is allowing the ministry of God, his love and his provision and his peace to come to our hearts. So my hope for you is that you would find places and times of rest and maybe you've never thought about taking one day and setting it aside to rest, but incur I encourage you to do that because that will be a blessing to you and all those around you. So Lord, I thank you for your promise of rest. I thank you, Lord God, that we can enter into this rest. You prepared it for us and it is a blessing to us. Lord, I pray a blessing on each one hearing this, that they would find rest in you. Um, you've, you've given your life, Lord God, you gave your life, Jesus, Father, you gave your only son and Lord, we thank you for the promise of rest that you've prepared for us in Jesus name. Amen.